So this is the problem 316 of Sadiku book and we are asked to determine V1, V2 and V3 using nodal analysis and as usual we will set this part as ground where the voltage here is we assume that voltage here is zero and let's see what we have here so we have voltage source here and this V3 is already known so this the voltage between ground and voltage source here voltage source is have to be 13 volt so first one we have V3. V3 is equal to 13 volt. Okay, let's just remove that. And let's write 13 there. Now we we have all the resistance in Siemens. We need to convert that to ohm. And this one is one Siemens and that will equal to one ohm. Two Siemens is equal to 1 over 2 ohm and 4 Siemens is equal to 1 over 4 ohm and this one is 8 Siemens is equal to 1 over 8 ohm and we are asked to find V1 and V2 V3 is already known and this V0 V0 is equal to this one. This V0 is voltage between the ground and this nodes, and that's equal to V2. So we can change this V0 here and here into V2. So this one is V2, and that one is also V2. And now we take a look at V1 and V2, and we know the difference between them. So V1 minus V2 is this dependent voltage source and that is equal to 2 V2 and now we will have V1 is equal to 3 V2 and we still need to find out one more equation so let's save this as equation number 1 now I think we can take a look at this node for KCL KCL at V1 so the current I assume the current is going here and this current is going here and that current is going there this current is going there and this current is going here and that current is going there so the current that goes in is here this part so 2 ampere is equal to the current that goes out there is three current that goes out one two three and we will have this current first v1 over one plus is one v1 minus 13 v1 minus 13 divided by this resistance it's 1 over 2 and then plus so this is voltage source we don't know the current here so I will just write it as I between 1 and 0 and we can simplify this further <laughs> by using simple algebra to V1 minus 13 plus I2 I12 and then 2 is equal to V1 plus 2 V1 minus 26 plus I between 1 and 2 and then we will have 2 is equal to 3 V1 minus 26 plus I one two. Now for calculating I12 we will take a look at this node. So the current that goes in is I12 but the current that goes out is here and there. 
so we will have 2 is equal to v1 minus 26 plus so let's calculate that the current that goes in is i1 and that equal that current that goes out so that's equal v2 divided by 1 over 4 and then plus v2 minus 13 divided by 1 over 8 now we can simplify this further so that one is 3 v1 minus 26 plus 4 v2 and then that one is 8 v2 minus what is 13 times 8 is 4 104 let's save that and then we will have 2 3 v1 minus 26 plus 12 minus 104 no this one is 12 v2 minus 104 and then we will have 2 is equal to 3 v1 plus 12 v2 minus 130 and we will make this move there 132 is equal to 3 v1 plus 12 v2 and now we have v1 is equal to 3v2 so we can calculate this now we substitute this one into this one 132 is equal to 3 times 3v2 plus 12v2 and then we have 132 is equal to 9v2 9v2 plus 12v2 and now let me erase this one so we will have 132 is equal to 21v2 and we will get v2 is equal to 132 divided by 21 and so let's continue I get my calculator here so we need to do some mathematics so 132 divided by 11 is equal to it's it's not 11 it's 21 so i will get that value and i get 6.285 okay let's make that 28 6 and now we can calculate v1 so this is our first value and v1 is this value multiplied by 3 and then it will become 18.857 and for the last one V3, V3 is already known, V3 is 13.4. So 
so this is our final answer this is for v2 this is for v1 and v3 or maybe we can write it for the sake of clarity so we will have v1 is equal to 18.857 volt v2 is equal to 6.286 volt and v3 is equal to 13 volt and this is our final answer okay thank you for watching